Hello all welcome back to John Review Channel, with me John. This time of movie entry we will go back to the plot of a superhero from the Japanese country. In short, it tells of a beautiful, sexy woman who was a member of the Ranger, who was assigned to spy out monster movements in space, but whose existence was being bested by an army of monsters that he even had to confront those monsters. What was the fury of the movie? Will the woman survive? Or the opposite? Instead of being curious, let's skip to the plot. At the beginning of our film was shown a surveillance airplane, inside which was a member of the White Ranger, where he was controlling the plane and reporting to headquarters, showing that the aircraft was fine without any interference, but suddenly there was a shock with the plane, which sent the White Ranger flying, there's been an attack from another plane out of nowhere and for what purpose? The White Ranger is trying to jump start the plane back to normal, but unfortunately, because the main engine has been damaged so even the plane can't be controlled, in the middle of the panic with the White Ranger, there's been a sudden surge of shock that made the White Ranger fly so that it makes it back into human fashion, in which this is the White Ranger's human host, which rendered Yuna unconscious. After some blackouts, Yuna finally woke up, and how surprised he was to find out that the plane had been hijacked by the monster army. Hiding out Yuna and listening to the monster's conversation, which apparently the monster army was planning to capture Yuna, who heard it and then went to the monster army and went into ranger mode, but our chief monster calls him the Red Monster, not the slightest fear of the White Ranger, where he believes in himself that he will defeat the White Ranger, the Red Monster then orders his army to fight the White Ranger, so there's a fight there. In his superhuman strength, it took no time for the White Ranger to defeat the monster army. Until only the Red Monster remained alone. Seeing that all of his men had been defeated by the White Ranger made the Red Monster so angry that he stepped up against the White Ranger, and it turned out that the power of the Red was strong enough, but the White Ranger was still overwhelmed by the kicks and punches of the super fierce Red Monster, and in that battle the White Ranger was driven to his task by not keeping up with the power of the Red Monster. And when the Red Monster brings down the White Ranger, the White Ranger then brings out the power of the light so it distracts the Red Monster, and that's when the White Ranger decides to escape because he knows his powers are far different. Sin then moves on where we are shown that Yuna is looking for a way out of the plane, which is difficult to escape, because the ship is surrounded by an army of monsters. In the middle of that struggle, the Red Monster suddenly came back with its army, the Red Monster told Yuna to surrender, but of course Yuna would refuse to give up, and Yuna chose to fight back with the Red Monster even if he had to, because losing before the fight was just a loser. Yunka went back to Ranger mode and fought against the Red and Monster army. After defeating the monster army, there remains a fight between the White Ranger and the Red Monster, where it looks like the fight is intense because it sells and it's violent, it shows the White Ranger sends out a windfall of his death against the Red Monster, which makes the Red Monster fall over, which makes the White Ranger happy. But what happened next was so unexpected it turned out that the Red Monster was able to rise again after the attack, and it took the White Ranger by surprise, even though he didn't believe the Red Monster could rise again. The Red Monster then turned against the White Ranger, even though the White Ranger had drawn out his sword weapon and shield, but it was useless, Deja, because the power of the Red Monster was so overwhelming, the situation was even worse because the White Ranger's energy was so weakened, it certainly wasn't being squandered by the Red Monster who constantly unleashed his attacks on the White Ranger. When the White Ranger comes up with his ultimate move, suddenly there's a random force blocking his attacks. The image of the Monster Queen coming in with the Monster King. It only seems to make the White Ranger more vulnerable and it just drives the White Ranger mad, but what power this time has been. According to the massive power loss, the Queen Monstetsons has come down to take out the White Ranger. But it turns out the White Ranger still has a weapon which is a Basoka weapon, but when the Basoka was fired upon the Monster Queen, it was able to capture it and reverse it to the White Ranger, thereby making the White Ranger fall, and as a result of the effects of the basking shot, the glass smashed his head and severely injured the White Ranger whereupon he was continually tortured by the Blue Monster and the Monster Queen with no more resistance, which then left him powerless. The White Ranger was suffocatingly brought to his execution, and you would also be wondering what happened next. Yes the impotent White Ranger was then given to the Monster King to execute. The Monster King invited his men to taste the pleasure of the White Ranger, and at the end of the film it was told what would be the White Ranger to be willing to be turned over by monsters until he was drowned, and the film was finished. Now that's the plot of a superhero movie this time, if you like the video please like, share and subscribe this channel so you don't miss the channel's latest video. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.